Hello, my name is Ruth Walker and I'm a Partnership Manager at Capita Sims. Today we'll be looking at the Sibling and Joint Absence Detection Reports in Sims. These reports carry out complicated pattern matching, helping schools to efficiently identify individuals whose attendance may create concern. There are two reports that are extremely useful in tracking the pattern of attendance for groups, highlighting patterns that may not otherwise come to light or would be difficult to identify manually. They both work in a similar way. First of all, we will look at the Sibling Absence Detection Report. Let's take a look. Under the Reports menu then, under Attendance and Selected Pupil Reports, we find both the Joint and the Sibling Absence. In the first instance, we're going to be looking at the Sibling Absence Detection Report. As in common with a number of our reports, you get the ability to change the date range and also the group type who you may be interested in, any hunches you already have about attendance. In the primary context, you're probably interested in whole school patterns, so I'm going to choose whole school. I can apply some criteria at this point. So again, if I know that I'm interested in attendance with at least 10 sessions in common, for example, I could put that parameter into the software. I can exclude unauthorised or authorised absence if I choose to do that. But I'm going to move on. And then immediately you can see that the software has brought together all of the children that have absences in common. Remember, this is the sibling absence detection report, so it's brought the family groups together. And I can see the Aaron family there. It's definitely something that we need to explore. If I show the sessions, that actually brings up for me the leader's marks, in this case Chris, and also his two siblings, Liz and Sophie. And we can see the, the date of the session and indeed the marks that they have. And there's an identical pattern here. Immediately we can see that. A day's illness followed by six and a half days of no reason yet given. Perhaps a parent is keeping the children off because of their own illness, or one of the children is ill and it's difficult for them to get the other to school, or it may be other personal circumstances. In any case, it's definitely worth a conversation. Now let's take a look at the Joint Absence Detection Report. The same process as before, so under Reports, Lesson Monitor, in this case, Selected Student Reports, and then the Joint Absence. In this particular example, the software defaults to the individual students but again, we could change the various groups if we wish to. But it may be that actually we have particular children that we know have poor attendance. For example, Jimmy Abbey in Year 10. I then get the ability to select the children that, I, that perhaps I think Jimmy may have been distracting uh, and taking out of school with him. If I choose Year Groups 10, 11 and 12 and drill in, it will give us the children that have the same pattern of absence as Jimmy. And as you can see, he actually has 449 children that have some element of pattern the same as him. And actually, there are a group of children that have up to 13 sessions in common. So Jimmy is clearly distracting uh, a number of children in our school. Here we can see those children and the number of sessions that they have in common. If I scroll down the list, you can see that's in numerical order of the number of sessions, so we're probably more interested in those at the top of the list. And if I highlight a number of those children to show their sessions, again, the report opens up for me, and I can see Jimmy's marks here and also the individual student's marks here. And again, I've got a set of children who all have illness which means there's definitely something that we need to explore in that case. There's a pattern of marks which one might not expect to see in a disparate group of students. These reports have both been designed to take the hard work out of interrogating attendance data. They can be used to identify patterns, follow up on hunches, or indeed to monitor individual absence patterns. I hope this video has been helpful. To make sure you receive every new Did You Know video direct to your inbox, sign up to Sims Achieve, our free Sims newsletter. Visit our website to sign up. Thank you for watching. Thank you.